Hello everybody, this is Farthest Frontier, and I'm gonna go over this awesome castle that I built. Please like and subscribe if you even feel like it. It's not a big deal. So, I have been working on this for a couple days now, and I think I've gotten it to a place where it is pretty freaking awesome. Um, this is my central location, where I've staggered my towers for optimal uh, damage. And I've double walled the whole thing. Pretty much nothing can get through this. I haven't been raided by a lord yet though. That's the next step. I will definitely make a video on that when I do get raided. Um, but yes, uh, essentially I just sell an enormous amount of candles and buy stone and that's how I afford to do this crazy stuff that I've done here. They did break one gate on the last raid but they were just evaporated by all the arrow fire. Um, so I was able to get about 165 people in this area. Then I expanded north so that I could get to tier four. And so I have an immense amount of towers up here. I will be making all this stone. This is my inner courtyard area for farming and trees, apple trees. And then this is my newest addition, my super fort. Um, I'm upgrading all four of the towers around it, plus, plus the fort. And I made a nice little courtyard. Looks all military-like. So yeah, anything that comes, anything that comes from this direction, or that direction, um, this I'm, this I just have been filling with towers. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's a pretty solid fort, pretty big. But I'm almost at 300 people, which is quite honestly too much. Um, if you get to four and five hundred. Wood just becomes an absolute nightmare to to sustain because not because of just cutting wood but because the amount of firewood that's needed to heat all the homes um i got tier four manors i do spend a lot a lot of gold but i make about 5k in candles a year so um my my economy is completely run by my my etsy shop business that sells candles basically all right well let me know what you guys think um this is probably one of the cooler bases that I've made. Um, I'm gonna probably do another base on a mountaintop. I've seen some really cool mountaintop bases, so I've just kind of been playing around with it. All right, thank you.